What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, LS Shepard Grinder. Man, I'm back with an update or video. Yeah, y'all. As y'all see, I got the motor in. I got good hood clearance. As y'all can see, right here is the intake. Up here is where the, uh, the windshield wipers and the windshield starts. So, it's got good clearance. The hood closes without no problem. So yeah, next step, we got to get all this stuff wired up, um, we got to put the transmission on, which I had it on yesterday, but trying to lower it into the car and do it all by myself, trying to use a floor jack, that won't gonna work, so transmission right here, I do have the stall converter on here, or the torque converter. It's on there. The only thing I do is just slide it over the transmission. Uh, as you can see it right there. So. It is bolted to the flywheel or the flex plate. Most people call it. So. Basically all I'm waiting on now is. Uh, some time to get out here and get it done. But I got everything buttoned down. Motor in. Intake on. Ain't much left to do now, man. It's time to get this thing, get the power stern wire uh, plugged up and reroute this ABS. And well, not reroute it, but take it out. Go with proportioning valve. But for the most part, man, Chevy almost ready. Almost ready, man. We get this on the road, get this project out the way. We'll be moving on to a box Chevy. So, next car I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna drive it for a while. I ain't gonna get it, drive it about two or three times, then break it down. I think I didn't learn my lesson now because this is a lot of work to do, and it's a lot of waiting on stuff to come in. To get things, you know what I'm saying, uh, to the point where you can put a car back together. Uh, LS swaps are easy, but they're not cheap. Or well, you can go cheap, bro. Right? But if you want to start customizing, I got a hundred two. This is a hundred and two millimeter throttle body. All right, a hundred and two millimeters. It's about four inches across almost five this water pump coming off the shroud fan we're gonna go with the car water pump because right here the little angle the little spout that comes out for the truck water pump is hitting the throttle body so we're gonna get one that come just come straight which I probably could use that one because the only thing I done was just took the spout off, right? Took a little spout off. And if I could find something a little shorter, oh hell, I could probably cut that. I could probably modify something, right? And probably could hold on to this. The only thing I do is just cut it a little shorter, put it back in there. I don't think nobody ever tried it, but hey, I'll try it. I'll cut it a little shorter and see if I can get a, the right kind of bend on it. And hell, I just might keep the truck water pump on it. I don't think nobody tried it, but hey, I'll try it. Because like I said, this comes out, right? It goes right here. The only thing like you need to do is just cut it, cut it down a little bit. You should be able to reuse it. So we'll try that first. We'll try that first, man, but this one of this one of the videos I'm gonna shoot today. Uh like I said we got oil coolers and transmission coolers and we just gotta get this thing ready, man. Ready for the road. So with that being said, y'all like, share, and subscribe. Peace. <laughs> 